Hey guys, it's Tarko Cyclone FPV, and I'm doing another real quick video here. Uh, this one's going to cover the Nase 32 board because some of you bought that uh, special, that $100 special. It's got everything on it, and I wanted to cover over some of the go over some of the Betaflight stuff with you, especially the BL Heli part. Now, in the uh, first video and second video, we talked about getting the firmware, loading BL Heli, uh, and loading uh, Betaflight, and now we're going to get into the part about actually getting BL Heli connected to the NACE32 and some other boards that you may see problems with. And the problem that we're going to go over today real quickly is going to be the part about when the firmware changes uh, and gets updated and Betaflight or CleanFlight or whoever drops a feature. Well, in the feature of the newest firmware is from 3.2 and up, uh, Betaflight removed the pass-through to be able to configure your BL Heli. So a lot of you who try to connect to it will see a failure on this. So what I'm going to do is I've got the computer loaded right here and I'm going to um, get this. There we go. So you see the computer here. I'm going to give you an idea of what we're talking about, right? So I'm going to close BL Heli down, and I'm going to open Betaflight up, all right? And what's going to happen is I can do a flash firmware right now, and there are a couple things here that uh, you'll see different. There may be some issues when you try to flash your uh, NACE32. I'm going to go to the newest build, for example. I'm going to flip up manual baud rate, and I'm just going to say load the build online, right? And then what we're going to do is when it's ready, we're going to say flash firmware. Now, you may experience a problem when you try to downgrade your firmware. Uh, and I'll show you if that happens. I'll show you exactly what to do about it. Um, but uh, what we want to do now is we're going to flash this so I can show you the error. And then I'm going to show you how to find uh, the um, updates. As a matter of fact, while this is flashing, I'm going to go ahead and update uh, the site here real quick and go to online. And we're going to go to the blog post. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the post that had the setup for the uh, BL Heli here. And then I'm going to put another link here now. And it's going to be called um, Betaflight uh, um, uh, Previous. Uh, let me see, Previous Hex Files. And what this link is going to be for is you can come here and locate from this link. Uh, it's basically the link to this page here, um, and that's going to tell you uh, if you need to find an older release that's not in. Uh, let me put this here. Uh, paste. All right, I'll put the titles and stuff later, uh, but we're gonna insert that. And we're gonna tell it to open to a new window just, just so that I could have this ready for you guys to see. All right, and so now that that's saved, we can go back to Cyclone FPV, and you're gonna need this link, so I just try to make it easier by giving it to you from my site. Um, and that's Romeo right there, working on his Vendetta. We just cut him some custom arms so he can fly six to seven inch props on there. All right, so again, when you go to this, you're um, gonna go to your posts, go to tutorials, and then there's a drop down here. I didn't even realize that this was here before, but if you drop down and you can go to the beta flight, uh, well, you know what, I'll just go to the first part, which is getting started, because that's where this stuff's gonna be. All right, so I don't know what just happened there. Hold on a second. All right, so this is the article right here that I'm talking about. And I don't know why my computer's acting all weird, but let's see if we can get there we go. Let's see. If I click it, it should open up. Okay, so there we go. And now you're going to see that there's that link right there that I just put on here, okay? So what I want to show you in Betaflight is that we've got a new version loaded. We're going to connect to the quad. Everything looks great. I mean, everything's pretty much set up nicely. Um, but uh, when we disconnect and we try to open BL Heli and we look at the COM port, which is going to be COM11, and we click it and we click Connect, you're going to get an error message right here. And the error message is going to say um, it cannot initialize. So we'll do it again so I can show you. <clears throat> okay, so the version doesn't allow for uh, four -way, the four-way interface field for, for uh, pass-through, right? So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, close that out. And now we're going to download, uh, we're going to show you how to do the firmware download. So in BL Heli, I mean, sorry, in Betaflight, the... Um, the new versions, 3.2 and up, did not support pass-through on NACE32 because it put the processor in a little bit of overload. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our website, and we're going to click this link to download previous versions of the uh, NACE32. And you're basically, you can see here, this is Betaflight 4. We need to get uh, to, there's 3. And basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to pre-3.2. So let's just say like a 3.1, whatever we can get to. But we're going to be looking through that. So just keep scrolling until you get to your uh, version that you're looking for. And um, so it's going to be right here. Uh, I am. What's up?
Okay, so uh, getting back to where I was at, sorry. Um, so we were looking for anything that was before 3.2.0, right? So we're at 3.2.1. I think we go to the next page. And uh, we are going to be looking for not 3.2.0, and I'm hoping they go below that. So 3. Point, um, let me see where we're at. Here we go. So we're going to go to 3.1. I will dry this. I mean, 3.16 should be fine. So uh, 3.16. Now look for nays. Here it is right here. So click that. And I'll put this on the website also so you'll have a link to it, right? But don't forget, when you download these files, you need to go ahead and put them in that folder like I told you. So here's your downloads. There's the beta flight hex. Go ahead and put it in your Cyclone folder or whatever folder you made. And I think for these, I'm going to start making hex file folders. So let me just do that real quick. Um, so let's do a uh, let's do um, beta flight uh, hex files. Okay. This way we can keep them, uh, uh, organized. So let's put that in there and then we're going to drop this one right here. All right. All right. So now we want to go back to our flash over here and we want to say flash firmware. And this time we're going to load it from a local and we're going to go to our downloads and go to our cyclone FPV folder or whichever you have. And there's your hex file for the older version. Now I cannot tell you on the first chance that this is going to load. So we're just going to click flash and let's see if it does it. Okay. So it does look like it's loading. And the cool thing about this is, is you can load this file, right? And then you can update, once you do your configuration with your BL Heli and you get your firmware done on your motors, go ahead and upgrade again if you want. So this is only to get you by so that you can do your motor um, flashing or your ESC flashing. Uh, and so once you, once you accommodate that and everything's taken care of, change it out, you'll be good to go. So let me grab my coffee and let's see what we got. How's it going, Romeo? Good, good. Yeah, all good right. Corner, but I got it. You need a smaller drill bit? He's drilling out his motor screws right now. So, do you need a small drill bit? Or are you good? All right. Okay, so uh, it just got done, as if you're watching the screen here. So, we're going to go ahead and connect, right? And there we are. And if you go to your CLI and you type version, uh, you'll see you're running 3.1.6. Now, we're going to disconnect. All right. And we are going to go to our BL Heli now. And we're going to find our COM port, which is COM 11, and we're going to click connect. And all of a sudden now, we've got connection to our, um, uh, I've got the wrong uh, bootloader, sorry. So let me go, let me, let me change that real quick. There we go. All right, so you see how it's reading now, right? So that's exactly the workaround that you're going to need. So once you do this, now go ahead and do uh, your um, Flash or BL Heli. All right, and in this case, we're running those uh, Black Widow motors with the ESCs built in. So just go ahead and click OK and click yes. And while that's updating, I'm going to go ahead and add, those, add that file to the site. So bear with me while I do this uh, change real quick. And I'm going to put here, if I can get this out, oh, you know what, I'll just wait. But what I'll do is you will see, um, you will see under here uh, a fix for it, uh, right? Uh, I guess I'll put it like right over here under, um, let me see if I can do it like this, hex, hex file updates. Let's do that. All right. And then if you come to the same page, oh my goodness, I can't type today, but if you come to the same page, then you'll be able to, uh, and I'm gonna click okay now because we'll continue doing the next firmware and we're gonna keep going through all of them. So click yes, yes, there it goes. And we'll move this out of the way or not because it's stuck there. All right, anyway, so, so we'll do hex file updates and then I'll go ahead and, um, if I can just get this thing out, there we go. And put these dots and just put here, uh, nays, 32, and what version was that? That was 3.1.6. So, okay, I'm trying to do this while this thing pops up is a pain, but I'm gonna keep going through this part real quick. Click okay, click yes, and then we could move this out of the way or not. We shall wait a minute. There we go, all right, so, uh, we're going to do NACE32 3.1.6 and then use for BL Heli updates. Okay, so I'll give you a link to that and then uh, I'm going to save that for now. And then when I'm done doing this, I will go ahead and finish that out. Okay, so let me minimize this now. Click OK. And we're riding motor three and then we're going to be flashing motor four.
Now I'm just going to stop this video at this point, like when we're done, because the next video, you know, each one's going to go into series. So the next one will be once we flash it, what do we do with the motors to synchronize them or to, to configure them and then come back into BL Heli. But I don't want to hit all of that right now because these videos need to remain short and to the point. So uh, we've got this here. Everything is now flashed to 14.9. So now you can just say, you can, if you're not sure if you've written all your changes, you can click write to set up, but it'll say there's nothing to write most likely. Um, and so it's going to check them all. So nothing to write. Everything else has been written. And now we're going to go ahead and click disconnect. You'll hear your ESC beep. And now when you go back, um, you can uh, easily disconnect. And then you can go to your firmware flasher. And now you can go to your newest NAS if you want. Uh, I don't really know if I'm going to run this uh, version, but for right now, I'm just going to show you and we're going to load it. Now, if you do get an error when you do this, let me, oh, well, the error is gone, so you're in good shape anyway. Um, all right, so guys, that's pretty much it. Once you load that firmware, you're done. So you need to downgrade, then upgrade, and you're good to go, okay? Hope that helps. If you need anything else, guys, just let me know and I'll make a video on it. If not, have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye.